preparing for the working day. Queen Okubemi has run this shop on Sagbo Koji, a small island community in Lagos for the past six years. Selling everything from soft drinks to vegetables, having electricity enables her to stay open well into the evening. She used to pay almost $100 a month to run a diesel generator, but having recently installed solar panels, she now pays just $8 a month. When they brought the solar, they explained the solar to me that, see how much is the solar and how much I will pay every month. And I compare it with the fuel I'm buying. I see that the solar is a bit cheaper, a bit cheaper to me. That is why I prefer the solar. And in Lagos, the distance between those who can access electricity from the national grid and those who are left out on the island is very small. Just a thin strip of water divides them across the city's lagoon. In this direction, you have a bustling, vibrant port where many big businesses are set up to take advantage of the waterway. But just a five-minute boat ride away, there's the island communities of Bishop Koji. Now, they're very much a part of Lagos, but this forgotten island is completely off the national grid. Only a minority of residents on the island can access light at the flick of a switch. But gradually, more small businesses are switching to solar and the company behind it feels it can be cost effective. So the way the system works, it's, it's a pay-as-you-go solution, right? They pay a down payment, which is more or less like 10% of the cost as a deposit. Then the remaining, uh, they spread it over 36 months, then they own the system. In low-income communities like this, solar is out of reach for most. And energy experts say the cost of solar needs to come down to make it more appealing to residents and businesses. If they get access to solar power, which, is, um, if, it, it, which doesn't require so much money on fuel, if they, if they get access to it through the channels that are coming up, which allows people to actually pay for it over some periods of time, it becomes a massive cost saving for them, which they can deploy back into their businesses, ensure that they're actually able to have more sustainable business. Large-scale solar projects are underway in Nigeria, eventually generating enough electricity for several million homes. But for small communities that exist off the national grid, private operators could be their only chance of a brighter future.